Welcome to Gap Advisors channel. This video discusses an example of non-compliance with Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013. A review of financial statements for compliance with INDES is beneficial not only for the company and the auditor but also for the investor, lender, employee or supplier of the company. In one of the orders, NAFRA NFRA has identified customer as a stakeholder too. We recommend that an auditor gets the financial statements reviewed before giving independent auditor's report on the same. We also recommend that an investor gets the financial statements of the company reviewed to know the level of compliance with applicable accounting standards in company's financial statements. The review lets you know the degree of reliance you can place on the information in those financial statements. If you would like to get your financial statements reviewed by GAP Advisors, you may mail them to info at gapadvisors.com. A QR code has been given on the slides. It is a humble request that if you find the videos on GAP Advisors channel useful, Kindly reflect on the value created and contribute your desired amount by scanning the QR code given in the slides towards the value created. A listed company other than NBFC has a reported non-current assets in balance sheet as shown in this slide. The company has presented investments in subsidiaries as a separate line item which is in a, a compliance with uh, para 58 and 59 of India's 1. However, the company has presented the line item not within financial assets. Para 2.1a of India's 109 scopes out investments in subsidiaries that are measured at cost. It may be noted that the very fact that India's 109 on financial instruments had to scope out such investments means those investments meet the definition of financial instruments. Had para 2.1a of India's 109 not a scoped out investment in subsidiaries measured at cost, there would arise inconsistency between India's 27 and India's 109. Thus, Investments in subsidiaries that are measured at cost in accordance with Para 10 of Index 27 are financial assets but scoped out of Index 109. Clause 8 of General Instructions for Preparation and Presentation of Financial Statements of a Company Required to Comply with Index of Division 2 of Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013 states that for the purpose of this schedule, the terms used herein shall have the same meanings assigned to them in India's. Therefore, the presentation of line items in balance sheet, statement of profit and loss and statement of changes in equity as per Schedule 3 is based on the definition of that item in India's. As investment in subsidiaries means the definition of financial assets the company should have presented investment in subsidiaries separately within financial assets. Therefore, the company has not complied with Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013. Due to this, the balance sheet of the company has been impacted. Thank you so much for watching this video and for your contribution. Hope you found this video useful. If you would like to get your financial statements reviewed by GAP Advisors, you may mail them to info at gapadvisors.com.